Jamil, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to chat. You know, you moved from a small town in Saskatchewan to Nashville. And last year, you made your debut at the Opry, which is huge. How did that feel? It truly felt like country music was just like wrapping their arms around me, being like, you're a part of this family now, and we want you to perform on this legendary stage. And, and my entire family flew down to be a part of it. And it was just like this dream that we all had, you know, as a family, it was like coming true. And I got to celebrate with everybody. And um, I hadn't done that, um, been on that stage since I was like doing a tour of the Opry when I was, you know, a teenager. So it was just kind of a very full circle moment. And you've performed on The Bachelor three times. What was that experience like as an artist? They really just kind of took a chance on a new artist and I'm so, so thankful that they did. And all of those fans that watch that show, like they're country music fans. So they go and they find that music after the fact. So I got really lucky with all of that stuff. There's a lot of fans that have found my music because of that show. And those fans got a ton of new music last year with the release of Tennille Arts' sophomore album, Love, Heartbreak and Everything in Between. And you know, 2020 was obviously a weird year for everyone in the music industry, but having started the year by releasing an album, how was that transition from going to that to obviously having to go to have a bit of a slower pace the rest of the year? I am such a planner and I really, really struggle when things don't go the way that I thought they were going to. And I think I've kind of let go a little bit of that. There are so many good things that came out of this year that wouldn't have happened if I would have been on the road or had that busy schedule that I had. I mean, I've got five or six songs that are ready to be released in the new year, and that would have never happened um, if it wasn't for the slowdown, so. When we get back to touring the way we know how, which song are you most excited to perform live? I'm excited to perform the single Somebody Like That because I literally went from, you know, playing that song on The Bachelor to only being able to perform it for a couple of months and then nothing. And I, I just remember um, playing a few shows after I Hate This came out and everybody knew the words and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. And this song, you know, has done so well in the US and Canada that I'm just like, I'm just dying to get out there and just see what the fan reaction is.